Hi, second graders. Today, we are going to read a story. The title of our story is The Three Little Dassies. The author is Jan, Jan Brett. Hot, 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 the little Dassies were almost grown up, and it was time for them to find their own place. Mimby, Pimby, and Timby waved goodbye to Mommy, Daddy, Aunties, Uncles, and all their cousins, and set out for the distant mountain. Come and visit us, they shouted. A place cooler, a place less crowded, a place safe from big eagles. The sisters traveled all day and all night across the Nimib Desert, arriving at the foot of the mountain the next morning. This is where we will live, they agreed excitedly. Welcome, a squeaky voice called out from the scree. It came from a handsome, smiling Agama man. No one has lived here for a long, long time. Just me and a family of eagles up on the mountains. Eagles, the three little dassies shivered in the hot, hot sun. Where would, where would they build their houses? Mimby eyed the long grasses. These grasses will make a lovely, cool house, she said, and she set to work cutting, twisting, braiding, and bundling. She finished in no time. Be near and dear, sisters, she said, crawling inside for a nap. Pimby spotted pieces of driftwood, silver from the sun, lying in the sand of the dry riverbed. These will make a fine wooden house, she said, and she set about collecting as many pieces as she could find. When it was finished, she hung up a hammock and called out, Be near and dear, sisters, while I rest my eyes. Timby looked at the rocks around the mountains. I will make a stone house, she said, but it won't be as easy to build as one made of grass or sticks. And it wasn't. She had to work all day in the hot sun to get it finished in time to sleep in, to sleep in at night. Agama Man had been watching them. He was happy they were staying on. He had missed having company. The three little Dassies slept late into the morning as the sun rose higher and higher in the sky. The big old eagle who lived up on the mountain stretched his wings and flew down to look for a meal for his hungry chicks. Mimby woke up hungry and went outside. Suddenly, a long-winged shadow paused over her. The eagle, she cried, and hurried back into the grass house. I see you, Dassy, the eagle screeched and swooped down. I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in, he squawked, beating the air with his wings until the grass roof uh, sailed off. The eagle grabbed Mimby and lifted her up, up, up to his nest. But the eagle was greedy. No sooner had he dropped Mimby into the nest than he spotted Pimby in front of her stick house far below. Two dassies would be double delicious, he thought. And down he went, feathers flying. Pimby looked up and saw him coming. She turned and ran back inside. The eagle landed and screeched, I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in, he squawked. Twigs flew, sticks rattled, until Pimby's stick house fell apart. Then, just like Mimby, she felt herself being lifted high in the sky and plumped down in the eagle's nest. Timby looked out to call her sisters to come for a breakfast of tasty seed porridge. But instead, of grass, but instead of a grass house and a stick house, she saw a long shadow streaking across the rocks. I see you, Dassy. Here I come. The eagle landed and shrieked. I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll blow your house in. He flapped and clapped and beat his wings. Dust and sand blew everywhere, but the stone house didn't move. He tried again. 
flapping and clapping even harder. Dust and sand got in his eyes, but the stone house didn't budge. When the dust settled, the stone house was still standing, but the eagle was coughing and sneezing. His wing feathers were bent and broken, and he was missing tail feathers. Knowing when to quit, he hopped his way up to his nest. At least he had two dassies waiting for his dinner. The eagle reached his nest, but the dassies were gone. He looked down and saw them at the bottom of the mountain, heading for the stone house. It was his last chance. He streaked down toward the open chimney. Inside, the three sisters hugged each other. There's nothing like a stone house when there are eagles abundant, they cried. Just then, the eagle tumbled down the chimney. I'll flap and I'll clap and I'll, a hot blast from the fire hit him. Fly home for a nap, he squealed. As fast as he could, he squeezed back up the chimney and flew home, all black and singed from the smoky fire. And Mimby, Pimby, and Timby never saw so much as a tail feather of the eagle ever again. Mommy, Daddy, Aunties, Uncles, and all their cousins, and Agamemnon too, had come to celebrate. Welcome, the sisters cried, to a place cooler, to a place less crowded, to a place safe from eagles. And if you travel to Namibia today, you will see Dassies living in stone houses with handsome Agama men looking out for them. As for the peaky eagle, as for the, the pesky eagles, they are easily spotted, for their feathers are as black as soot. Okay, second graders, that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.